Hey guys, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step method to create a bootable USB for Acronis using Rufus. This video covers every step in detail, so you can easily create a fully working bootable USB for both legacy and UEFI PCs. So stay with me. First, we'll download and install Acronis True Image. If you already have Acronis on your computer, you can skip to the next step. In the search engine, type Download Acronis and click on the first link. Click on Try It Free. Now check this option and then click here. Enter your email address, agree to the terms, and click here. The download will begin. Once it finishes, open the file location and double-click to install Acronis. After the installation is complete, launch the Acronis software. Over here, check on. Agree to the terms and click OK. We'll use the trial version for now, so click here. Fill out the details and click Create Account. Now click on Tools, and then click Rescue Media Builder. Choose the creation method. Since we're using Rufus in this video, select the simple method to create a bootable media. Click on ISO file, and choose the location where you want to save your ISO. Now click Proceed, and wait for the process to finish. Once it's done, click Close. Our Acronis ISO has been successfully created. Now let's download and install Rufus. Open your browser and type Download Rufus. I've also added the download link in the description. Click on the first link, then scroll down. You'll see different versions available. You can download the standard or the portable version. I'll choose the portable setup, which doesn't require installation. Once the download completes, place the file on your desktop. Now open Rufus. It may ask for an update. Click No for now. Rufus is now launched, and we'll use it to create our bootable USB. In the Drive option, Rufus will show your USB drive. Now, insert your USB. As soon as you plug it in, you'll see the name of your USB or pen drive appear. Select your USB drive. Next, we need to choose our ISO file, so click Select and choose the Acronis ISO we created earlier. Now comes a very important step, choosing between GPT and MBR. GPT works with UEFI BIOS, supports modern systems, and is recommended for newer laptops and PCs. MBR works with legacy BIOS, used mostly in older computers, and has fewer capabilities. So which one should you choose? If your PC or laptop was made after 2010, it usually supports both GPT and MBR. If your system is older than 2010, select MBR. Check your BIOS settings. If UEFI is enabled, choose GPT. If Legacy or CSM is enabled, choose MBR. I'm using a latest laptop that supports UEFI, 
so I'll select GPT. If you're unsure about your system's partition mode, you can check it by watching my video on it. The link is available in the description below. Now, leave the default settings for file system and cluster size and click Start. Wait for the process to complete. Once it's done, click the close icon and safely remove your USB drive. Now restart your PC. As your PC starts, press F9 for the boot menu. Here, you'll see USB appearing under the UEFI section. If you selected MBR, your USB would appear under the Legacy BIOS option. Press Enter on the UEFI option. It will take some time, so be patient. And now you can see that the Acronis setup has launched successfully. From here, you can create backups or recover your system. If you already have a backup in .tb format, click Recover. If you want to create a new backup, select Backup. And that's it. We've successfully created a working Acronis bootable USB using Rufus. If you want to learn how to create or recover backups using Acronis, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any issues, let me know in the comments.